What's up, guys? Alright, what's up, guys? How's it going? Joltman here, back with another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. This is episode two. In the last episode, we uh, we stumbled upon the e the the evil, long forgotten home of the sorcerer Moldywarts, and it uh, appears to be deserted. You know, from from what I can tell. And we decided to make this place our home. We found some uh, useful materials. I've been a little busy since the last episode. I've uh, just been doing a little boring stuff off off camera. I've made a cactus farm, sugarcane farm. I've uh, regrown a lot of the, the farm over there. Got some cows, as you can see over here, penned up. Um, and I've also fenced in some chickens right behind that building over there. And... Um, Yep, that's. I haven't really done much else. Hollowed out this room for uh, for a Thomcraft research table, which I'll explain a bit later. Um, just set up little tiny setup. Done a little bit of work. I've done done some mining. Got some copper, iron, and tin. Coupled with uh, the stuff that we've already had to start off with, we are in a good spot here. I've uh, I've I've finished up the stale bread. Now I'm just finishing up this dry steak. I mean, it was in here. I figured I may as well eat some of it. And done some, uh, got some extra food in storage here. Potatoes, carrots, all that stuff. Now, let's get started in my favorite mod of this, of this pack. Like, I've just been having a lot of fun. There's so much cool stuff that's been added. And that is Thomcraft. Now, this mod is all about magic, magic and wizardry and sorcery and all that good stuff. Now, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, and you've somehow managed to find it, you've, uh, you already know pretty much the gist of, uh, of Thomcraft. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm planning on doing a little bit of, uh, of research this one episode, and that's pretty much it. I'll do a bunch of research off camera, because that's kind of the, uh, the boring part, and then I'm going to just sort of explain what I've what I've discovered and, and other stuff like that um, in between like in some episodes so let's actually let's get right to it now the first thing you're gonna want to make is what's called the wand of the apprentice now this is what you got to use to um, get started in Thomcraft and it's very simple to make all you need is a gold pretend that uh, this right here is a 3 by 3 actually I've got it right here geez anyway um, pretend that this is, okay, this, this is a 3x3 crafting table, so now, all you gotta do is put a gold nugget here, a stick here, and one of the shards, any kind of shard, air shard, water shard, fire shard, any kind, um, right here, and that'll make you a Wand of the Apprentice. So that's, uh, that gets you started right off the bat, and now, once you have the Wand of the Apprentice, you're gonna wanna find a bookshelf, and once you've found that, you want to right click on it with the wand of the apprentice and you get a thominomicon. I'm not going to do it now because I already have one. But um, this is pretty much your achievement tree for Thomcraft. And it's got already a lot of stuff, you know, that I can see here. All this stuff is grayed out because we can't research it yet. It yet. Even if we use the right aspects, like for say one, this wand right here, we wouldn't be able to because we're missing some research. These, however, we can. So I'm going to start off with niter now I, how do i know this is niter well because this stuff right here this is niter and it's used as a pretty cool looking source of light i want to make as much of these as i possibly can because in my main uh, base here i want to use niter as much as possible for lighting so anyway how do we research this you ask well let me show you you put two tables like this and you want to get some scribing tools now to get some scribing tools pretty simple all you have to do is put a glass bottle, a feather, and an ink sac in any combination in a crafting table and you get scribing tools. Now once you've gotten those and you have your table laid out like so, what you want to do is right click. And that sets up your research table. Now once we open it up, it's got some pretty, it looks pretty complicated, but it's actually fairly simple. This slot here is for paper. They put that in there and then once you have the paper in there, you can actually start researching some uh, some notes because you can't really get research papers without paper. Yeah. 
anyway. So um, once we do that, we put the paper in here, and I already know a little bit about Thomcraft. So let's put in uh, what is it? Some coal, and um, let's get right to it now. Coal, as you can see, if you shift, if you shift and hover over coal, it's got two fire, two up uh, blue. Oh, I forget what. It, oh, power, power, and one rock. So now, if we research this, we've already got our, an unknown theory. Research notes. Now, if we continue to research it, we start. Oh, we got a bit of fire. That's pretty easy right now. Oh, uh, that crack tells me it's time for some water. Just one sec. <sighs> anyway, right back to it. So now we know that there's going to be two things. After we've research, researched uh, coal for a bit, we know that fire is 75% uh, complete. And we also have an unknown uh, essentia or aspect that we, we can research from this. So let's just continue researching. Oh, now there is a chance that it's going to destroy the item. And even more so if we switch this to thorough. What thorough does is it increases the likelihood that you're going to get some improvement, but it also increases the likelihood that you're going to destroy the item in the process, and cursory is the exact opposite of thorough. So let's just continue, put a bit more coal in here, and just research that until we've got all of it. Now once we get to a certain point, it's going to just give us the whole the whole thing. And uh, if, if we, we already know, now we have niter, as you can see. Um, once you get to 50%, Oh no, it's once you get to 50%, this little note here that's in the top of uh, top of the uh, research table, this thing, when you're below 50% complete of research notes, it is just a bunch of random uh, scribbles. But once you do that, once you get above 50%, it actually gives you an explanation. And, you know, it's glowing flame, fueled by magic itself, it's uh, uses of an ever-burning flame seam endless, and it produces some light and energy. Now, you can kind of get a clue as to what you need to research by what's in this description. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work as well, but I already know because it says light and energy. If we hover over over a torch, you can see that it has a little bit of of uh, of light, like a candle. So we put that in the table, and we just continue to research that. It's not going away, so we know. That is here and we just continuously research 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 there we go now we've got a discovery we've discovered night ore now it kind of it's got the effect of a map so that's really cool so now right click on it and bing we got an achievement you've completed research nighter now what this is is it gives us how it gives us information on how to how to craft it so it, it gives us we need um in a crucible we need four fire, six light, and four potentia, which is power. So if we, if we put all of that in a crucible, and um, we right-click on it with the one of the apprentice, we will get some niter. So I'm not sure how long this has been going on for, because I've, uh, I've just been a derp and forgot to set a timer. So I'm going to end it right here, and I will be back if I have more time. Nope, not enough time. Just, uh... Yep, running out of time. Just make a crucible, toss stuff in it, make a nighter. Yep, goodbye. Have a nice day.